Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network Tutorials for Beginner. Siawash is here and in this new series I'm going to talk about the wireless network. This episode brought to you by Access Networks. In today's topology, we have a one Cisco layer 3 switch in the middle of our network which act as our gateway as well as DHCP server for three different VLANs. You can review the IP address of these three VLANs here. And we also have one Cisco 2500 series wireless controller, which connect via one truck network is native 10. And we're going to use a VLAN 10, 172.16.10.5 slash 24 IP address for the management of the wireless controller. Also, we have two AP, one 18.52 indoor AP, as well as one 15.52 outdoor AP, which connected via access and sit on a VLAN 20 to our layer 3 switch. Both APs are set as IP DHCP, so they receive the, the entire IP address from the layer 3 switch in the middle, and uh, they are already cap up set back to talk to wireless controller group. So let's begin. First of all, console wire a machine to the wireless controller and reboot it, and waiting for a prompt to pressing the escape and seeing the boot options. We have six options here. We either can run primary or backup image. We also can change active boot image. Number four is very important because clear the configuration on the current box. And we also can format flash drive or manually update image. By pressing number four, we clear all current configuration on the wireless controller and the system is going to restart. It's very important you have a physical security in accessing your data center to wireless controller because anyone can console to your machine and reset can erase all the configuration. So waiting for restart, this time we no need to press any escape and we can let the system continue booting. So now I'm going to fast forward the reboot process and waiting to the, our famous Cisco wizard to do the initial configuration on the wireless controller. So after reboot, we have a configuration wizard. Whatever is in bracket is a default, and we're going to stop the auto installation and set up the system name or host name for wireless controller. Let's call it Cisco WLC. And now it's time to set the administrator credential. We put the admin as a username and set the password. We don't have any link integration between wireless controller and a switch, so just press enter, which is no. We set the management IP address in the VLAN 10 range. We set 172.16.10.5/24, and our default uh, router or gateway is a 250. So now we just tag the VLAN 10, as I explained in the topology drawing. We use the first interface on the wireless controller. The 2500 series got four interface. We also put the DHCP server IP address as well as a virtual gateway IP address on the wireless controller. Now it's time to set the multicast IP address. Let's use the 239.0.10.250 and set the mobility or RF group name. All the system working on the same RF group is working together. Set the first SSID, let's call it Cisco SSID, and we no need to set any DHCP bridging mode, which is slightly advanced. In a future video, I'll explain about those. And allow static IP address connect to our network. We say yes, they can. We no need to set up the radio server at the moment. And since I'm using the AP from the China, I just use the country code as a China. Also enable all the A2.11, A, B, and G, as well as the auto RF. We don't have any NTP server in our lab environment at the moment, so just say no for a configuration NTP and manually set up the date and time. As you realize that, the system only accepted two digits for a year, which remind me the Y2K problem long time ago. So we just set the date and also let's set the time this time is 17 to 25 minutes and asking you want to run the IPv6 at the moment we say no and finally we save the configuration and reset the wireless controller so we expecting after reboot all this setting is sit into the wireless controller setting 
it's time for restarting the system is cleaning and restart so I fast forward again this part Now, after final reboot, it's time to log into the wireless controller by the credential we just set. User is admin and we type the password and we are in the wireless controller. Let's check the status of the interface by using the show interface summary command is equivalent show IP interface brief in a Cisco world and the IP is set successfully. Let's test the communication between the controller and the gateway which successfully they can communicate by receiving the ping requests so show AP question mark show AP summary is a command that help us to see the status of AP at the moment I connect the indoor AP to the VLAN 20 of the switch and it show that successfully the indoor AP is connected and able to communicate with the wireless controller so the let me connect the other AP and check again log in back and show AP summary and now we can see both our indoor AP and outdoor AP are connected and fine by the wireless controller they can do the cap web process successfully I hope this video is informative for you please subscribe and share with your friends